Let's recap and add some extra quick insights. All right, one, it's all about survival. So if we are to look at this brain, the main goal is survival and it will always be the main goal. Two, threat and reward responses have an impact on us both physically and mentally. And compared with the reward response, then the threat response kicks in a lot faster. It's much stronger and it lasts for a longer period of time. Now, number three, the brain is a helpless predictive machine. And it is constantly subconsciously trying to guess what is going to happen next. It just needs to be able to predict and to make sense of the world around us. And again, this simply stems from the brain's drive to protect us. But then here comes ambiguity and uncertainty, which come with a massive energy cost for the brain and the entire metabolism altogether, of course. Four, the brain weighs 2% of our total body weight, yet it consumes 20% of our daily energy. Five, as the brain consumes 20% of our daily energy, but still needs to keep us alive, that means that the brain loves to save on energy, so we are alive for as long as possible. But the moment you need to save energy, the only way you do that is by taking shortcuts. So the brain loves cognitive shortcuts. Now, that's beneficial in certain aspects and very not beneficial in other aspects. And then what happens is that we don't make the best decisions especially when we are tired, especially under uncertainty, especially under organizational change. Six, work has changed, the brain has not. Simply put, the brain was never designed for 21st century corporate life. Seven, during times of organizational change, specific training, workshops, sessions focused on the brain in the workplace are paramount because we're building resilience, we're creating structured coordination, and we're going to talk a little bit later about why these matter. This video could have easily been eight hours long, but in the interest of time, we decided to keep it like this. Absolutely. Do keep in mind, we are posting a lot of content on LinkedIn, so please follow us and connect with us on LinkedIn, and we look forward to reconnecting in the very close future.